Welcome to another episode of Foodie Friday. This week we're in Fruitland at Chef Stewart's of Flannery's where the conversation is good, the chef is super cool, and the food is tongue slap your face delicious. From the flat top to the stove top and definitely to the smoker, at Chef Stewart's of Flannery's you're sure to leave with your belly full. Sometimes you go to a place and you want meat and then you get a little bit of meat and a lot of fluff. Well here you get meat. The setup here is laid back, but that's the way he wants it, so the focus is on having fun and mouth-watering food. Well, I would say if you want good food, I mean, and you, and you don't care about fancy ambiance, this is the place to come. I've traveled around a lot of places and always seek the best possible food wherever I can find it, and Flannery's has the best possible food on the Eastern Shore. Everything here is prepared in the food truck by Chef Stewart himself, then served to you either outside or inside, and he always makes sure to check up on his guests. I mean, he comes out any moment he gets a chance to see how things are going and what's happening. At the heart of his operation is the smoker, and it's also what brought Chef Stewart back home. I uh, fell in love with the smoker, and I was in St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands, so I started cooking on that down there, and I decided I wanted to bring it back here and open a restaurant. The star of the smoker, the pit beef, which Chef Stewart rubs down with his own special seasoning before letting the smoker do its magic. For about four or five hours, I'll take it out of the smoker, then I put it on a pan, let it cool, wrap it up, um, then bring it into the, the uh, trailer and I'll slice it, and it's, it's good. The final touch, a dip in the au jus, then it's loaded up on a brioche bun. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> One, two, three, here we go. Mm. Oh my goodness. What are you tasting? I mean, one of the things about it is that the meat is just so juicy. It's cooked to perfection. Another favorite, the Irish Reuben, which is corned beef that sits in a special marinade for three to four days before hitting the oven for five hours, then getting thinly sliced before it meets a flat top, some au jus, coleslaw, and finally, some toasted rye bread with American cheese. A sandwich go. so good, Chef Stewart even had to join us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it good. Right. That's good, you can, the fat melts in your mouth. It's thinly sliced, which is perfect, so it makes a perfect bite, and that crunch on, on, on the bread. And that coleslaw oh. just adds a little bit of coolness. Mm -hmm. And with food this good, it's no wonder he's developed a loyal following, and they give him high praise. I've known this guy since he was a baby, and he can cook the best food in the world. My family raves about this place, so that's why I came, because they recommended it. But it's not just sandwiches you can get. Chef Stewart has a little bit of something for everyone. So your best bet is just to come on in and try it for yourself. It's one of those things you walk away, you're never going to be hungry when you leave here. Uh, but you're kind of always going to be wanting more soon, soon enough. Mm -hmm. 